Hello, we're here to talk today about using the NSLOOKUP command to troubleshoot DNS issues. Okay, to start using NSLOOKUP we'll need access to uh, the Windows operating system and go ahead and open up a command prompt. And to use NSLOOKUP um, it can be used in two ways. You can use it in interactive mode or non-interactive mode. Uh, non-interactive mode basically just means that you use the NSLOOKUP command and just type in the host name you're trying to resolve. For instance, NSLOOKUP and then type in the host name you're trying to resolve. And NSLOOKUP queries the DNS server that's configured on this machine and, and responds with the results. If you want more control over the NSLOOKUP command, then you want to run it in interactive mode. And to do so, you just type in the command NSLOOKUP. Now you'll notice this time, um, when I typed in NSLOOKUP, um, I connected to the, the, the DNS server that's configured on my TCP IP stack. And you'll note that by the results here, default server. I'm connected to a name server one dot IT gear dot test and its address is 192.168.131.65 and you'll notice that I'm still within the NSLOOKUP uh, a prompt so I can continue issuing NSLOOKUP commands. Okay so the most basic command you'll type for NSLOOKUP is just a typical host name. In the previous example I typed in uh, www for this domain called itgear.test so I'll just try it again And you'll notice that the server responded. The server that responded is in the first section. It's a host name and IP address, and the results are in the se second section. The results came back for www record, and the address that it resolved to was 127.0.0.1. So NSLOOKUP is getting this information from uh, the DNS server that it, I'm connecting to, and the DNS server that I'm connecting to may or may not have um, that zone um, that I'm querying. If I do have the zone, it's coming back with an authoritative response. If it's not, for instance, if that DNS server has to go out and, and get that information from another DNS server on the internet, it'll come back with a non-authoritative uh, response. Such as, let's try uh, to, res to resolve the host name google.com. And here you go. DNS server went out and got me the information for Google and this, these were the results. Uh, in this case, uh, Google.com hosts multiple records for that single host name. And this lookup has other parameters you can use um, to get more detail and um, better querying. Uh, to get more help, just type in the question mark at the prompt. And you'll get a listing of, of all the different types of parameters and, and queries that you can run with NS lookup. Basically, the commands are as follows. For instance, uh, normally when I type in NSLOOKUP, I'll uh, use either host names or if I s set specific options. Uh, for instance, uh, if I want to look for a specific type of record, or for instance, if I want to set a specific default domain name, I can do that as well. Um, let's go ahead and, and try an example uh, where we only want to return the results uh, for NS type records. So if I say set type equals ns, now if I type in uh, the domain itgeared.test, the only response that's going to come back is the name server records for that domain. In this case, this is the host name for the server that's listed as, the, as a DNS server or a name server for that domain. And the address that came back was uh, as follows. Other things that I can do to troubleshoot specifically on uh, internal networks is, um, for instance, if I'm having a zone transfer problem between two, two um, name servers, I can actually uh, attempt to do a uh, zone transfer using the NSLOOKUP command. For instance, if I type in um, ls-e, uh, which is uh, right here, ls for the listing of addresses in a domain, uh, "-d", I want to see all records. And if I type in the um, domain name and I hit enter, it'll request a zone transfer. Now, by default, uh, DNS zones are generally set to not allow zone transfers, or if they are set to allow zone transfers, they're uh, secured in a way where uh, they specify which servers 
can request a zone transfer. So if I hit enter, you'll notice that it says can't list the domain IT geared uh, that task query refused. Now if we open up the DNS uh, admin console and I go to the properties of the zone, there's a zone transfers tab. Now if I click on allow zone transfers, I can specify that this server will, um, will either allow zone transfers to any any basically any any other system requesting zone transfer, or I can be specific to only uh, name servers listed in the name service tab, or I can also specify to the following IP addresses. Now that now that I hit apply, um, if I go back to my command prompt and I type in the same command, um, I should get the zone uh, contents, which I did. Now, up to now, I've been um, communicating with the DNS server that um, is configured on the TCPIP stack. But what if I want to go ahead and troubleshoot a different DNS server? I can do that by typing the command server and typing the IP address of the server that I want to communicate with. For instance, um, let's say I want to run a query against uh, one of the server public DNS servers on the Internet. Okay, so now you notice I'm connected to the DNS server with an IP address of 8.8.8.8, .8 .8 which belongs to uh, Google. And from there, I can go ahead and uh, issue a command. Basically, came back with uh, the information I was requesting about the um, about the uh, zone itself. If I wanted to change the query parameters, I need to go back and set the type. And we could try it again. And there you go. So um, the key to using NS lookup is um, basically becoming comfortable with the different parameters that you can run against uh, the DNS server. Of course, for the most part, you'll just be issuing a host name uh, query, but um, you do have the option to refine your query um, as we showed showed earlier. Well, that concludes the this demonstration of how to use NSLOOKUP to troubleshoot DNS issues. Thank you for watching.